is that in every organization there's somebody that's that's an inventor. They come up with these really neat ideas, and they're 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 squelched. We don't do that here. I, I was working at a company, um, and one of the people in the company saw the internet coming. He said, man, if we could get in the business of doing this, this, and this, we can make a big profit. Well, the company wasn't in the business of doing that. But at the same time, they had one of the key people who could have made something really big happen for them. And so if you have people in your organization, have you ever met anybody like that? Have you ever been in your organization you had people who had really good ideas, but they couldn't get the ideas to, for people to accept them? Because the company wasn't that business or whatever, so they basically put people, push people in little pigeonholes so that so that they can't, so they have to operate. Well, some companies don't do that. Some companies actually, if you have an idea, they will give you money to work on your idea, because you're already a, a highly qualified engineer or an IT person that has a really good idea and can make something happen, create something. And if the company, the key is the, the company will give you venture capital to do this, but the company owns a big part of it. Okay? So now if you can master that, you can create this daughter organization over here that may go after a certain niche. And what you're doing is you're creating a daughter organization. Does that look familiar? It looks like the mother organization. Anybody ever heard of multi-level marketing? That's all they do. They make a whole bunch of people rich, you know, good ones, because they're making a whole bunch of daughter organizations out there who's building organizations. And and what you do is let's pretend like we, we said that we do this for a commercial environment. Well, somebody in an organization came from the government environment, and they know how to sell, they know how to win government contracts. We could do the same thing for the government and create a daughter organization that serves nobody but the government, right? I got a friend that has that writes proposals for grants and proposals um, for um, for government contracts. She's written 200 or 300 of them. I, I want to say 300, but it might have been 200. Only lost two. She brought in 64 million dollars for a nonprofit. She, she made her nonprofit the third largest company uh, selling food to the military. Uh, I mean, you know, huge. That's huge. If you found somebody like that within your company and you hired them for some other per reason and this is what they're excited about, put them in charge of that. You know? And f fund it a little bit. You got 50K coming in that month, you know, put 5K this way or whatever you want to do. Now, at some point, you're creating a, a whole bunch of daughter organizations, and part of what they're going to do is create daughter organizations you know, as they grow. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to create a family of companies. If you look at the corporate level, looking at corporate level, it's kind of like multi-level marketing. You're creating a family of, of people who are supporting you. Um, now they're going to operate based on your system. What happens if this starts losing money? You just cut it off. You know who's, who uh, decided that was a good way to go? Uh, Bridgestone. Bridgestone Firestone. What happened was the whole bunch of cars were flipping, <laughs> a whole bunch of lawsuits were coming, so what they decided was let's make LLCs out of each of the divisions so that if one division goes, it won't kill the whole company. And not only that, but if this company, in another reason you might want to cut it loose, let's pretend like this company's dragging this one down. I mean, you're making profit off of this. You own a part of it. So maybe you cut it off and let them go on their own. Just keep a, a, a profit on the books, you know, instead of, instead of a line of management. I'll show you some places um, where that where that actually is working. Okay.